This is Beat Harvest Confessionals, night number one. <laughs> Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Last episode on Red, White, and Bethune, we showed you our unschooling. Kyle taught the kids about some leaves. I got stuck in a corn maze. And we did have outdoor movie night. Kyle went thrifting without me, but you did get a sneak peek at our merch. And Kyle had to clean. Let's see what's going on this episode. This video right here is being uploaded with some Nomad Internet. Do you wanna get your own Nomad Internet? If you want some unlimited internet on the road, you can get anywhere, you can look in the link below. We've got our code and all that, all that good stuff. Now, enough of me jibber jabbing about that. Let's get to the video. Good morning. Day is a very big day. Kyle starts work at the beet harvest today, but he doesn't go in until seven o'clock tonight. He is back there sleeping. This is going to be interesting, trying to get the kids to stay quiet while Kyle sleeps. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard. Anywho, I gotta make coffee. I got this new mug. How freaking cute is this mug? Well, Wolf Bakery sent me a mug, she said, because Theodore is so awesome. And he is. Sometimes he's a turd, but mostly he's pretty darn awesome. You wanna see how gross it is outside? Like, it is gross. Look at this. Ugh. We haven't had like a rainy day in such a long time. There's Jed and Sandy. There's Jess and Dan. It's just nasty. Look at these puddles. Ugh. But I'm gonna make my breakfast and my coffee and kind of get started for the day. There's not gonna be too much planned. We're just gonna watch movies because it's nasty. Ugh. I got my breakfast going. My vegan breakfast sandwich. Since I have to be gluten free and dairy free, I'm mostly vegan, or I'm a vegan, when the opportunity suits me, pretty much. But I got my coffee and my mug, and now we're just gonna kinda sit here. Eli's working on his Christmas list. Ben just woke up and he's uh, hanging out on the phone. Molly came out of her bunk, made pancakes, and went back in. So it's just a typical lazy Saturday around here, really. What are you doing today? Let me let me know. What are uh, what have you got going on this beautiful day where you are? I like to know, and I want you guys to know. I read every single one of your comments. I spend about two hours in the beginning of my day trying to get through all of them, answer back as many as I can, but sometimes it's hard. So if I like and love your comment, I read it, I love you, I think you're amazing, and I am so thankful that each and every one of you are here with us. Puppies going into kennel. Good morning, puppers. Wheezy's potty in. Fifi's potty. Look at that nub. That nub just a wagon. It is gross out here. Gross and nasty. But there's Sandy. I don't know. I think the vans. They got the van going. I don't know where they're going, but they're going somewhere. I'm spying on them. Not really. The puppies. Let's go potties. Let's go potties. All right, let's come inside. Let's go, bus, 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 bus. Good job. Let's go, let's go check on this sexy guy back here. You excited for work today? Jed said they don't know if it's gonna happen because there's 35 mile an hour winds later. Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty nasty weather here in a minute. So we'll see. You guys uh, watching a movie? Yes. You have to All pick right. up dog poop outside. I'll leave you to it. This guy right here went to the market and picked up some stuff. We need, I feel like we need groceries every flipping day. Uh, never like the bottomless pits, man. But here's the thing is that we eat 99.9% .9 of all of our meals in the bus. And so if you're working like a regular job, chances are you're gonna stop and grab coffee in the morning. You're gonna go out to lunch. Excuse me, a lot. So the reason why our grocery bill is so high is because we don't do all of those um, things. Like we do them sometimes, but we don't do them all the time. Hi, Culver's Place. 
So, because we are real with you guys and we like to show, you know, the stuff that's happening with us. Not to get too TMI, but I'm really late. Really, really late. And my tubes are tied. But, like, almost two months late. Healthcare on the road. Um, Kyle brought me one of these things. And, uh, yeah, I've, I'm gonna take one just to rule that out. Being two months late, I'm hoping, like, it's due to stress or something. So, we'll see. And I'll, uh, I'm gonna take this. And then if that says no, I need to book a doctor appointment. Because something definitely is not right. So, be right back. The results are in. Negative! But that does not clear up the fact that I haven't had any cycles in two months. So I'm gonna have to call my doctor, probably have to get like a bunch of blood work done, and then we'll show you how blood work and going to doctors work on the road. Well, good evening, everybody. It's been a long, nasty, rainy day. It was actually, we were actually supposed to start work tonight, but it got really rainy and it's really nasty and there's a really bad storm coming through. So I'm currently finishing up some ice cream having a Harry Potter marathon, and Jenna's editing a video. Gibster. We're all, well, we got a full full bed tonight. I know, we've kind of let everybody do, have like a free day. We haven't had one of these in so long. Like, I can't tell you the last time it rained, so we kind of just had a free-for-all kind of day. We just got fat and happy and ate snacks. So yeah, it's supposed to do this again tomorrow, though, so I, I don't know. I'm ready to get to work. Yeah, tomorrow's the 10th, and we haven't even really started yet, so... I'm ready to get started so we can get out of here. Yeah, that's pretty much all we've done today. So we'll pick you guys up tomorrow and good night. Hey y'all, today is a really big day. What day is it, babe? Monday. You start work today. Ooh. It's your first night of beating off. You know you love when I say that. Yeah, finally it looks like it's gonna be, like it's gonna be cool weather here on out, so. Hopefully they'll get, get this thing done. I'm ready to move on. Uh, we are for sure getting stir crazy. I hate sitting this long anywhere. And so Kyle's enjoying himself a little spot of apple. And then you're gonna take a nap? Eventually. And he's gonna take a nap because he has the night shift. So he will be doing nights. But the really good thing, this guy right here, he doesn't go in until seven o'clock. So he said he can still make dinner. You are a good husband. I love you. All right, I'm gonna get outside. I've gotta go find out where my children are. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get outside and I'll take you to go find them. I got a new mushroom coffee, shroom magic mix or something like that. We'll see how it is. I love my mushroom coffee because it has less caffeine and a whole lot more superfoods in it. But this one looks a little funky. I don't know, we'll see. And when it cools off, we'll, we'll taste it out. But it smells like it's got a bunch of spicy in it. Let's check out and see what my offspring are doing. Eli, what's going on? I'm making little cars. You're making little cars out of some wood and some coins? That sounds pretty fun. You had a water table over here with a bunch of stuff. I believe Judd and Sandy are napping because they've got to go in tonight too. And then Jessa, Dan, and them over here working on some stuff on the camera. What's your plan for today? I don't know. You don't know? Missing daddy. Missing daddy? Yeah, we'll miss daddy tonight, won't we? We get to stay up and watch movies. Yes, we can definitely watch some movies. I really love my husband. Like, I love, love, love him because he wasn't, they aren't scheduled to go in until seven tonight. So that means that he cooked dinner. This guy, I tell you what, you guys, I love him. But yes, he cooked fajitas for all of us. I am slicing up my tomatoes because I need tomatoes in my fajita bowl. In any case, we're gonna go outside. We are going to see what everybody else is doing and see how everybody, or everybody that's beating off, how excited they are to get to work tonight. And I know you're excited to know if they're excited, right? So, let me put this in the fridge and we're gonna go. All right. See, the sun is setting. Got Jed and Sandy's van. Look at all this crap. We gotta go through this crap later. What a mess this is. <laughs> Who's excited for worky work? You ready to beat off? <laughs> no words. <laughs> I'm, I'm not working. I'm not working. <laughs> Dan's I'm not beating off tonight. <laughs> we gotta um, stay nice and warm in our yeah. home. <laughs> nice uh, this guy's gonna be uh, a little chilly. <laughs> Fighter pilot Eli, man. 
that? You look awesome, bro. I have a whistle too. I'm so excited about the whistle. Look, there is Batman. I'm gonna eat my dairy-free bowl. And then you guys can come with me. We're gonna tuck the kids in and then we're gonna like lay in the bed by ourselves. Is your car warranty up? Is your extended warranty done? Follow Simple Jed's steps to get that expired warranty renewed. Let's listen in. They're trying to sell me something, but yet, like, I'm on hold. Yeah. I don't, that's about that's about par for the course for Spectrum. What? You like what's that? Uh, we have to go. <laughs> Three hours later. Is that a waning gibbous? Ready, fire pilot. You feel the need? Don't. The need for speed? They're probably over there with their coworkers going. <laughs> they're like. Okay. All right. Sid. All right. Well. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I have got to go see Kyle off and make sure he's got all his clothes on and his lunch box and he's ready Mom, for his first day like of work. Did you did you put your man pants on? No, it's not that cold. It's supposed to get down in the 40s tonight. And you're gonna be out. Maybe you should bring your man pants with you. I told Jedrick that he should bring his man pants with him. You have man pants? These are man pants. <laughs> well, these are, I mean, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna be that cold. <laughs> are you excited? No. Why not? Because it's cold. Did you bring your jacket? Yeah. Did you bring an extra pair of man pants? I did. You brought your yogos? They're okay. so cozy. They're so comfy. Ooh. They're not mm, Babe. That is mm mm mm. Oh my. These just make me feel like a bad <laughs> They see you with those glasses like, this guy knows what he's doing. This guy. Follow this guy around. <laughs> How are, like, how have you prepped for beating off? I've been doing this since I was 10 years old, man. <laughs> I got a lot of experience we're for 12 into, hours. We're moving into the Jeep. I see that. <laughs> what well, did you guys bring? There's two of us. This is lunch. Okay, there's lunch. Lunch. And water. And water. And then this is all of my, my stuff. Aww. So I keep it all together. And then this is jackets and stuff. Well, we didn't want to just throw it all over I mean, your Jeep. Welcome. That's what I do. You did great. I think it looks good. Where's your stuff, honey? Just strolling it out. It's just, I can't. You know, I just, I can't. That's not a costume. That's, that's what he's got to wear. Did Braxton ask if it was a costume? All like, treats, no treats. Night at school. Make lots of friends. <laughs> All right, it's party time. Party time, party time. Party time, party time. All right, we are, the kids are listening to stuff in there. Benjamin has dishes. Yep, there's there's no shortage of chores around here. Or I'm in my PJs. The kids are sort of in their PJs. Eli's refusing to take off his firefighter costume. Uh, dogs have all been walked, right puppies? Does your feet be been walked? Yeah, you go Fifi, you go Fifi. And the Kevin and the Wheezy, they're eating. Here's Eli in his fireman costume. Ben's gotta get the dishes done so we can watch a Halloween movie and snuggle. Hopefully Kyle's night is going pretty well there. If he calls me, I'll update you and let you know what he says. But anyway, for now, we're just gonna crawl in bed. It is time for bed. We're finishing up our movie. Molly is already passed out. Eli's hanging out strong. Ben decided to watch a different movie up there. And Theodore is hanging out with me. Huh, Fifi. He is an awesome boy, but it's time for me to go to bed because Kyle will probably be in about eight o'clock in the morning and I know he is gonna be so tired. Theodore is gonna keep me company and um, we'll see you in the morning. Night. Say good night. night. <laughs> this is Beat Harvest Confessionals, night number one. So it's eight minutes till midnight on, it's Monday, first night of harvest. Oh, do you see the trucks rolling in? It's 45 degrees out currently. It's not bad, you know, on your feet a lot. And, you know, it is cool, you know, especially for somebody like me from Florida, but it's not bad. I'll show you what we got going on. Sorry about my window and all that good stuff. There's a truck leaving there on the left. The piler, the, the big thing right there, that's what receives the beets. And I don't know if you can make it out, but behind that is a big pile of beets. 
But basically we just kind of take care of the trucks, make sure, you know, it's all machine does all the work. We just kind of make sure the trucks are doing what they're supposed to do. They don't hit anything and you know, just, yeah, that's about it. Not a bad gig. It's just, I haven't worked night shift in probably, I know over 10 years. So it's gonna be a little rough on me. I'm sure the first couple of nights, not a bad deal. Came in at seven o'clock today. So it's gonna be a long night if we're here till eight in the morning. Figured I'd check in with you guys every night. Just kind of let you know what's going on. Today we are featuring Jalen Griffin. Jalen was last seen on August 4th, 2020 at his home on Warren Avenue in Buffalo, New York. At the time he went missing, he was 12, has brown eyes, black hair, five foot three and 145 pounds. Please call the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children at 1-800-THE-LOST. Please don't hesitate with any information that you have. Jalen is a missing child who is believed to be in the local area. Call 1-800-346-3543. Let's work together to bring Jalen home.